Hello everybody and welcome back to more Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim. I'm the Wayfaring Pilgrim. When we last left off, we tackled yet yeah, another Daedric quest. This time for Meridia, the Lady of Light. After returning the beacon to her temple in Mount Kilcreath, she told us that her temple had been defiled by a necromancer called Malkrin and that he was using her Daedric artifact to fuel the vile corruptions that were now infesting the place. So, our task was simple. Make our way through and cleanse the temple by defeating the vile corruptions and guiding Meridia's ray of light through and then destroy the defiler. And I don't think anything could have prepared me for that boss fight. As you guys have no doubt realised, this is not my normal intro screen. I decided to record the successful attempt against Malkorin with no commentary and just put it over this intro, just so you guys know what happened. Because he must have killed me at least 30 times. But I did not turn down the difficulty, I persevered and I was able to finally bring him down. And if I have any strategies for you guys, I'd go with the arrow strat. You're gonna have three shots with your arrows before the shades track you down. So if you get into sneak mode, have a potion of true shot, you should be able to deal with one of those weaker shades. In my fight, it was the near shade on the left hand side of the room and the far shade on the right hand side. Assuming you get all your shots off, that's one shade down. Then it's just a case of summoning your Atronach at the door. One of the shades may come after you, but that's something you just have to deal with. You'll be able to summon your Atronach probably another couple of times before they pin you up against the back wall. At that point, you use the Become Ethereal Shout to make your way to the other end of the hall. Summon another Atronach there. I used a Storm Atronach to keep Malkorin at bay whilst dealing with the final shade. And then I got a bit lucky as well because the Atronach did most of the work for me. It is done. The Defiler is defeated. Take Dawnbreaker from its pedestal. On Malkrin's corporeal form, I used a Flame Atronach to finish him off. And then I had to fight Malkrin's Shade form, who had some pretty powerful fire spells. At that point, I did get a little bit twitchy and just used my action to do work for me. I did get a few shots in and then eventually was finally able to take him down. So I'll show off Dawnbreaker before we head to our next objective and I'll show the last bit of Maria's quest with the dialogue and that. It will be with no commentary so I do apologise. And then I'll see you on the other side. And what we're going to do in this session is we're going to head to Wolf School Cave to see what's going on there. Malkorin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. May the light of certitude guide your efforts. Ping, and we're back. Okay, so the artifact I got, Dawnbreaker. 
Let's show this bad boy off. Dawnbreaker. Burns for 10 points. And when killing undead, a chance to cause a fiery explosion that turns or destroys nearby undead. Very small writing there. Pretty cool item. I'm not going to be using it. What's the time? Okay, it's early morning, so no risk of vampires. We need to head to Wolfskull Cave next to see what's going on there. Now, it does say go that way. I think that cave there is actually just Wolfskull Cave. So if I go down here, I can get there. It's good that we've knocked out a couple of Daedric quests, but it's time to do some side quests. Okay, so... Oh, God, there's a mage. There is a mage. And something else as well. So, flame match that. Cultists? Cultists! The Dragonborn guys! Yep, they're still after me. I'm gonna put a resist fire on. with these guys. Oh, long spell. There we go. Wow, that's not the start I wanted. Okay, I guess we'll try again. my paralysis to at least take one of them out I've definitely got a paralysis poison somewhere there it is Okay. 
I'm going to put a regenerate magic on here. And we'll go with plentiful. Your false rage ends now. Oh. How am I supposed to get past these cultists? The thing is, they're out in the open. Right, we'll give this one more try on screen and then I might have to try and do this off screen, guys. I want to get on with the next quest, you know? Just watch me not get ambushed now. How am I going to deal with these guys? I've only got one paralysis poison, so that's not going to do me any good. Hmm. Is there a better way? Let's give this one more go. Good job they've only got fire spells on them. No! Don't go for me! Atronach! What are you doing? Why aren't you fighting them? That's it. Oh, jeez. None shall stand against Mira. Whoa, okay. Um plentiful healing. Don't know where my action has gone. The true dragonborn returns to this oh. soon, and all will be done. Okay, I'm going to try to find a different way there. Because this way just isn't working. I can't fight those cultists when there's no help. I chose not to take a follower with me because the followers in solitude aren't really that good. So, let's try and head directly there. And hopefully we'll have a little bit of a better time getting there. We can go this way instead. There's always a way round. Okay. Firebolt. No cultists here. And here we are. Old school cave, guys. Hopefully the cultists won't follow me in here. There's the entrance. There we go. Right. Instinct mode. I don't know what's spotting me. Oh! Hello, skeleton. Where were you when I was picking up ingredients? Nice. Oh! 
Any more skellies? Okay, I think that's it. Cool. Nothing on that one. Oh, silver got Nice. We can make something with that then. Get the glass bow out. And here we go. How long are we going for? 15 minutes of trying to get here. So we need to find out what's going on here. see a shadow. That's not my shadow. Nothing back here? Okay. Chimes, you can be wary of those. I don't remember this quest very well, so you might just need to bear with me. I didn't want that, I wanted the list to walk. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Remember when those restless draugr were a problem? Not so much now. Anything on you? That's some gold. Can I get one of my arrows back? That looks like an opening, so I don't want to stumble into something, get killed and have to start this area again. So, we'll drop a quick save. Oh, I remember this room. Yeah, there's two necromancers over here. So what we'll do and what I'm gonna do as well. Uh, I'm just gonna check that I am on master because I don't remember changing my settings and I can't be sure that I'm on master. I think I am. But I'll just check. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. Cool. Right, did I put a poison on this? I did. What was that? Did you hear something? <gasps> more. In there, I think. Okay, uh, 
I'll just put a resist frost on. Better put these on favourites so I can get to them easily. Going to enjoy killing you. <laughs> Tried to kill me. I do not appreciate. Okay. Fast heal. Okay. Where's this other necro? It's down there, isn't he? Hidden for now. But I know he's still lurking around somewhere. I'm guessing the other one must have been a novice then. Yeah, novice necromancer. So there's necros about. That's not what I wanted to pick up. 